Hey guys, Piff here with a new series revisiting the old maps. So basically, I was trying to get you guys some gameplay. I've been trying to get you guys gameplay for the last two weeks. You know, I just feel like I've been talking to you guys too much and not like showing you guys the actual game and stuff like that. I know a lot of you guys have been asked about gameplay, and I've honestly been trying to for the last two weeks. And no matter what happens, you know, so usually somebody lags out. You know, whether it's somebody else. Uh, this time it was actually me. And, uh, yeah, so I was playing Verruckt. I was going to try to get you guys, like, a throwback Tuesday or Thursday and show you guys, like, an old Verruckt strategy. And I lagged out. But before I lagged out, I was looking around the map, and I looked outside the map. And this is, like, the main focus point of the map. You know, it's in the middle of the map. Everything is around it. And I look outside the spawn, and I look, and I see a wishing well. And I'm like, that's the wishing well from Buried. It looks just like the wishing well from Buried. And uh, so... I started to get all these theories and stuff like that, and I started to look around the maps and, you know, connect some more dots. So I thought it would be a good series, you know. Go revisit the old maps. You know, a lot of people were not into zombies when this stuff came out, so we, they could help, you know, connect the dots for them. And also, there was a lot of stuff, you know, that, that was hinted towards stuff that we got in this map pack. And I think it would be cool to go look at that and connect the dots and maybe, you know, know what to look for in the maps that we have now to see what's going to happen in the future. So I thought this would be a cool little series. So, obviously, you know, I see the Wishing Well. I'm not exactly sure how it could tie into Verruckt and Buried. Uh, there is a couple little different things, and, you know, I'll get into that now. So, obviously, the first thing and the main focus point is uh, when you start up the game, it says on Verruckt, it says you guys will be burying the undead zombies. So, that's one hint towards Buried. Um, also, when you guys go, go into the Power Room. There's that quote in the Power Room. I know most people know about this, but it says, Wish too often and your Wishing Well will run. So basically, you know, I don't know if that ties into, this is a bit of a stretch, but I'm not sure if that ties into, you know, Rick Toffin and Unburied, you know, maybe his wishing well was running too dry on Buried because, you know, he was wishing too much, and maybe that's why if you do the Max Society, he kind of defeats Rick Toffin. Um, not too sure, you know, that may be a little bit of a stretch. Uh, also, you know, what if possibly that ghost, that girl, what if she was maybe uh, a subject or somebody that, you know, Rick Toffin tortured at Verruckt, and he's haunting her at Buried? You know, or something like that. Because if you guys don't know, this this map's called Verruckt. It's crazy in German. And basically the theory at the time was that Richthofen would test and torture people at this place. And that's why you guys will go around you guys will see, you know, knives and butcher knives all around the map. And that's how he got the nickname The Butcher. So, um, some other things that hit possibly towards Buried is the man in the box. So if you go up to this box right here and you knife it. Uh, you hear this guy screaming in the box. Um, there used to be rumors on this map when it first came out that somebody was buried alive. Uh, so that's another hint, possibly towards buried. Uh, I'll let you guys hear that noise right now. It. just like the one on Kino, you know, when you look past the window and you can hear that guy inside the box and stuff like that. So I thought that was interesting. Uh, also, as most people do know, uh, written all over the walls and big and sometimes backwards is Teddy is the biggest liar. And this is why a lot of people uh, kind of give the nickname to Richthofen as Teddy because they thought it was like the people that he was torturing, you know, writing on the wall. But what if possibly there was more scientists and stuff at this place, or, you know, and uh, he wasn't the only one. What if Teddy was somebody that escaped, that was going to come back and help the people uh, escape as well, and he never came back to save them? What if that's Teddy, you know? And that's why Teddy is the biggest liar. He promised he was going to come save them. He left and never came back to get them. You know, it just, it just doesn't really make sense that, you know, to me, why would they say Teddy is the biggest liar if they're referring to Richthof? And why would, what would Richthof and promise them, you know, inside a sane asylum? That would get them so mad and say that they're, he's the biggest liar. You know, why would, um, you know, Rick Toff would say Teddy is a liar? I know a lot of things. There's a lot of things that head back to Teddy. You know, I think that, I definitely do think that the last map has to end in a Y. It has to be Fear Teddy, right? It has to be. There's so many things that connect back to it. Um, but there's that part, you know, Teddy is the biggest liar. Uh, I think there may, be, may have been more scientists and stuff like that. I'll get into that in a second. But uh, there's also on the wall, there's a picture with no head. And as you guys know... I, I want to say for sure that it was the Mob of the Dead files where they found the head, the Maxis head. Just the head of Maxis and no body. And um, nobody's really sure why that was in the game. 
or why it was hidden in the mob of the dead files maybe it's something that will pop up in the last map pack but um i don't know if that's something to hint towards this you know maybe they beheaded maxis maybe that's something that's going to come in the later maps i'm not too sure and um last but not least as you guys know this is a world of war map so when black ops 1 came out they had the last map pack where they redid all the world of war maps and what they did is they threw in new wonder weapons for all the world of war maps and for this map for ruck they threw in the winner's howl and i found that very interesting i'm sitting here thinking i'm like why the winner howl of all the weapons they could have gave this map why the winner howl and i started to think about it that's came from map five and on five they have a mad scientist that run around and steals your guns what if that mad scientist was a subject you know or a product of this uh sane asylum what if he was one of the guys you know that possibly escaped uh, i'm not too sure if he's teddy but you know what if he was just someone that came from this place and that's why you know he later escaped or whatever happened and he went to five and he ended up making the winner's house if he's the one that didn't make it and uh, maybe that's why that's in this map because he's a product of this place and that's why they picked that wonder weapon for this map now that makes sense to me um i don't know it's it's just it seems like you know why the winner's house of all the weapons it doesn't really fit on this map you think it would be something like you know the wonder waff or something like that but it was the winner's house so i thought that was interesting but uh yeah guys so that pretty much wraps it up you know, we got the wishing well that connects back to Buried. You know, maybe the ghost on Buried was somebody that Rick Tuffin tortured here. Maybe his wishing well, you know, ran dry or ran out, as the quote says, in the power room. Uh, the man in the box, you know, always the rumors that somebody was buried alive on this map. You know, Teddy is the biggest liar. We've always been hearing Teddy is a liar. That hints back to this. But what if possibly Teddy was somebody that came from this place that escaped and he's, you know, trying to get back. He's going to try to get back at Rick Tuffin. Or, you know, he promised to the other people he's going to come back and save them, and he never came back. That's why Teddy is a liar on the wall. Uh, the picture without the Max's head, and then the winner's howl. So um, that pretty much wraps it up, guys, for revisiting this map. I would highly recommend, though, that, you know, go back and play this map and look around. There's a lot of cool stuff on this map. And uh, so, yeah, that's the first episode of revisiting the maps. I decided to start with Vorukt because Kino. Not too much on Kino, and I started to think about, you know, Kino is on transit, so... You know, a lot of people got to go look around it and stuff like that when it was on the map. Uh, there's not a lot of stuff that hints, you know, towards the storyline that early on the very first map. But um, a lot of people sleep on this map as well. They think it all started in Shino Numa. But there's actually a lot of good stuff in the storyline uh, in Verrucked. And I think there's a lot of stuff that hinted towards stuff that did come in later map packs. So, like I said, I would recommend going to play it. But, um, yeah, if you guys want to let me know any, you know, maps you guys want me to do for episode two, I'm going to try to do them in, like, chronological order from ones that I think that are important and I find a lot of information. I'm um, going to do that one. But if you guys want to throw out any, you know, if you guys want me to do Shino Numa or Doris or, you know, any of those maps, just let me know. And, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to wrap this video up. If you're a new viewer and you enjoyed this video, if you could sub, I greatly appreciate that. If everybody, if you enjoyed the video... And you found it informative and fun. If you guys can give it an up rating, that's greatly appreciated. That's how these videos get seen. If you guys want to let me know anything about possible episodes for episode 2 or anything that you found, the uh, best place would be the comment box. But if you guys want to let me know right away, uh, the best place would be Twitter. If you guys have Twitters, you can you know message me or tweet me or follow me. Any of that good stuff. At Sir Piffington, that's what two ends. And more videos coming soon. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.